It's okay to feel uncomfortable because that means we're probably learning something, right? People that sit back and always want to watch but don't ever want to participate, they don't want to take action, and they always talk about wanting to improve, they might improve, but it would look, look more like this, right? It's a slow incline. Someone who's willing to jump in, take a lot of action, speak, get involved, their in improvement's going to be like this. <laughs>
And I'll just flip back quick because there are a few different people now. So right now I'm just talking about the quote that I posted in my Instagram stories today. And just wanted to explain a little bit. I think it's a fabulous quote. So let's go back to it and we'll finish up talking about it. All right. Let's see. Okay. So fortune always favors the brave and never helps a man who does not help himself. So the first part in green, fortune is another word for luck, right? Your future, what's going to happen to you, whether it's good or bad. Brave, can someone tell me another word for brave in English? What does the word brave mean? What do you think? So it's, we're still in the green part of the quote, fortune always favors the brave. So what is the word for brave? English Master Shane says, good morning. Res Reski Guzman says, hello. English, hello, hello, everyone. Can someone tell me what the word brave means? Or uh, give me a, a different word for the word brave in English. Hmm. Andrew Nev says, strong. Sure, that's a poss great possibility. You could be strong in mind, strong in body. If someone is brave, they are courageous, right? I'm going to type that word, courageous. And I'll type it in the comments, uh, hopefully a little bit quicker. Fortune equals, or courageous equals brave. All right. So someone who is brave is courageous. They have the willingness, the ability, and probably discipline to take action, to do things that will help their situation. So the first part, fortune always favors the brave. In different ways to say it, people who are brave have more advantage than people who are not brave. People who are a coward or weak or they don't want to take action, they have less of an advantage. So someone who is brave has much more advantage to have good luck because they take action. Will it be perfect? No, but they keep moving forward and they can make, they have a great chance to be able to control their future. All right, so that's the first part of the quote. Fortune always favors the brave. The second part is, and never helps a man who does not help himself. So, we could take the first word from the first part, fortune, and stick it in the second part, and it means fortune never helps a man who does not help himself. And it doesn't have to be a man, it could be a woman, it could be a person, but fortune never helps a person who does not help themselves, right? What does it mean to help yourself? Can someone tell me what does it mean to help yourself? What do you think? I guess it's kind of an obvious meaning. Help yourself is to take action, which is positive for your situation. It helps you reach your goals or it helps you to become more success, right? So this quote was said by P.T. Barnum. If you guys saw the movie The Greatest Showman, that movie was was based on things that P.T. Barnum had done with the big circus and stuff. And it wasn't really <laughs> about his life story very well because they used other stories and stuff. But P.T. Barnum is the person that uh, is the history behind the movie The Greatest Showman. All right. So this is the quote for today. Fortune always favors the brave and never helps a man who does not help himself. If we say it in other words, we could say, People who don't take action have a greater chance of having bad luck and having bad fortune. People who take action and help their situation have a much greater chance of having good fortune. All right. Let's see. I have a little bit of time. Let's see. Mayara Hit says, somebody that don't help your own life, right? So I urge you, the purpose of this quote today is, how does it pertain to English, right? Learning English. I think this is a great quote. Now I'll go back around one more time. So think you're someone who wants to learn English. And you look at this quote and you think, okay, I want to learn English. I want to improve my English. I need to do things. Then you see this quote.
Fortune always favors the brave and never helps a man who does not help himself. So when you're learning English, if you just sit around and wait for other people to help to come teach you, or you just wait for people to do things for you, uh, you wait for other people to give you lessons, to give you material, to do all that stuff, if you just sit around, you're not being brave, right? You're not being very courageous. The people that really improve in English, or for what, whatever language, I learned Spanish, Indonesian, American Sign Language, the times when I was able to improve the most was when I was bold, brave, courageous, and willing to feel uncomfortable. It's okay to feel uncomfortable because that means we're probably learning something, right? When we're learning English or when I was learning Spanish, wow, there's a lot of times when we feel ugh, uneasy. It just doesn't quite make sense and we're afraid we're going to make a mistake. Those are the times that decide if you're going to have good fortune or bad fortune with the language that you're learning. If you're able to push forward and continue even though you're making mistakes, that's fine. Then you'll move forward. And I like to say about mistakes, we need to make mistakes to move forward. And when you start, when you make, at the beginning, you make silly mistakes, right? But as you advance, you don't make silly mistakes anymore. You make more advanced mistakes. And when you keep advancing, you'll always make mistakes. That's fine. But as you advance, your mistakes become more complicated. And you don't make the silly mistakes anymore. You make more complicated mistakes. So continuing to make mistakes and learn from the, learning from the mistakes guarantees improvement in whatever you're studying. English, Spanish, Arabic, uh, doctoral medicine, becoming a lawyer. All right. Okay. So if I had one, two, three, four, four, eight, two, three, four, <laughs> says I try to improve myself. Great. Wonderful. Maya Rahit says I agree. Right. Okay. So uh, that is it for this morning. I'm going to read the quote one more time. Fortune always favors the brave and never helps a man who does not help himself. And once again, it doesn't have to be a man. It could be a person. We could actually change it. We could say fortune always favors the brave and never helps a person who does not help themselves. Right. So I urge you guys, I urge you, um, I have energy that I'm trying to get you guys to do something. When you're learning English, be bold. Be willing to be uncomfortable, right? You'll have lots of time to think and take the time to relax and be comfortable and think about your mistakes. But when opportunities ari arise, when there are opportunities maybe to speak with a native English speaker or to maybe go live with basically as a free lesson in English, take the opportunity. Because I guarantee you, the people that are willing to take those opportunities and feel uncomfortable but move forward, go live, speak with native English speakers, uh, be in situations which are not always comfortable. People that are willing to do that are guaranteed to improve. People that sit back and always want to watch but don't ever want to participate, they don't want to take action, and they always talk about wanting to improve, they might improve but it would look more like this, right? It's a slow incline. Someone who's willing to jump in, take a lot of action, speak, get involved, their Im improvement's going to be like this. <laughs> Someone who just sits and watches and watches, their improvement, they will improve. It would just be slower. So it depends on you. It depends on your goals with English. If you need to kick butt, <laughs> if you need to kick butt in English and improve and really be able to do it well, you need to do what's necessary. You need to take action, right? So that your improvement will be like this. Okay. All right. So, excuse me. That is it. Today, uh, this live was for two things. One, to say thank you to everyone who participated in my live yesterday, yesterday for me. And also thank you to everyone who participated in the comments below. You gave us ideas while we were talking and words and expressions, so that was great. 
And then we covered the quote today that I put in my Instagram stories. If you have some thoughts about the, that quote, you can go to in, my Instagram stories and leave a comment. So I asked the question, what do you guys think? Okay, uh, let's see. Uh, I'm looking at the time. There's one person I see who put a request. Is voice express yourself. So maybe we'll go live right now and see what they have to say. Oh, voice express yourself was unable to join. Okay. All right. No worries. All right. So that is it for the live today. Um, my next live will be in probably about two days. If you go to ableidioms.com and you go to it's like free live lessons, you can see the countdown and see how long it's going to be until I have the next live lesson. Okay. All right. We'll see you. And that's it for right now. Have a wonderful day, wonderful evening, a wonderful morning, wherever you are in the world.